Vaquita. The most endangered marine species. Vaquita, the world's rarest marine mammal, is on the edge of extinction. The plight of cetaceans, whales, dolphins, and porpoises as a whole is exemplified by the rapid decline of the vaquita in Mexico, with about ten individuals remaining. This little porpoise wasn't discovered until 1958, and a little over half a century later, we are on the brink of losing them forever. Vaquita are often caught and drowned in gillnets, used by illegal fishing operations in marine protected areas within Mexico's Gulf of California. The population has dropped drastically in the last few years. The vaquita has a large dark ring around its eyes and dark patches on its lips that form a thin line from the mouth to the pectoral fin. Its top, the dorsal surface, is dark grey, its sides are pale grey, and its underside, the ventral surface, is white with long, light grey markings. Newborn vaquita have darker coloration and a wide grey fringe of colour that runs from the head to the flukes, passing through the dorsal and pectoral fins. They are most often found close to shore in the gulf's shallow waters, although they quickly swim away if a boat approaches. The vaquita will be extinct if fishery bycatch is not eliminated immediately. Nearly one out of every five vaquita get entangled and drowned in gillnets, intended for other marine species like the totoaba, a critically endangered fish also found in the upper Gulf of California. Entanglement in gillnets set for totoaba was the primary cause that brought the vaquita to low levels by the mid to 1970s. Totoaba were overfished by the mid to 1970s and were listed as endangered by Mexico in 1975 and by the US in 1979. Today, international trade in Totoaba is banned under CITES, a global agreement among governments to regulate or ban international trade in species under threat. But high demand from China for its swim bladder has led to a boom in illegal Totoaba fishing in the past few years. Demand for Totoaba swim bladders has been driven by the belief in Chinese medicine that they are a cure to a variety of illness and diseases. Thousands of swim bladders are dried and smuggled out of Mexico, often through the United States. Fishermen receive around $4,000 for each pound of Totoaba swim bladder, equivalent to half a year's income from legal fishing activities. It is this illegal trade that is currently driving the sharp decline in vaquita numbers. International cooperation to boost vaquita safe fishing. In July 2016, President Barack Obama and President Enrique P. Nato of Mexico announced bilateral collaboration measures to protect the vaquita. As a follow-up to this meeting and to the recommendations CIRV are presented in its vaquita report, Mexico's National Institute of Fisheries and WWF Mexico established an international committee of experts to further develop and urgently implement vaquita safe fishing technologies. The committee advises the Mexican government on improving fishing techniques not harmful to vaquita, including those that INAPESCA and WWF Mexico have together developed over the last years. This independent committee is charged with improving existing vaquita safe fishing technologies to substitute gillnets, which are currently banned in vaquita habitat in the upper Gulf of California, the only place on earth where the vaquita exists. The committee is comprised of experts from Texas A&M University, NO Double, a Southeast Fishery Center, Swedish University of Agriculture Science, Technological University of Denmark, Canada's Fisheries and Marine Institute, New England Aquarium, FAO, INAPESCA, and WWF, a protocol and guidelines to catch shrimp with vaquita saf technology is expected to be ready soon.
Chinese paddlefish The Chinese paddlefish, also known as the giant Chinese sturgeon, was declared extinct in 2022. This iconic fish, known for its massive size, reportedly reached up to 23 feet in length and was a unique species in its genus. The fish's decline and eventual extinction can be attributed to a combination of overfishing and habitat degradation, which were only exacerbated by the construction of the Gazuba Dam in 1981. This dam cut off the paddlefish's migration route in the Yangtze River, effectively dooming the species. Despite efforts to locate any remaining individuals, none have been sighted since 2003 leading to the species' official declaration of extinction.